What's going on guys? Auto Aiden here, your Alberta car guy. Today we're gonna take a look at this 2024 Suburban High Country full jam. The only thing it's missing is the rear media entertainment system. It's a power boards, otherwise she is loaded right up to the nines. We're gonna take a full walk around video of the exterior and then work our way on the inside. This one's got the jet black mocha interior. So getting started on the driver's side here. This unit's equipped with your standard running boards, 22 inch aluminum polished wheels. She's also got the 360 degree camera. See that high country girl, you'll notice that's a little bit of a difference. You get a lot of people asking me how you identify a high country versus an LT versus an RST. A lot of it comes down to how that front grille is. These high countries will have a little bit of a I don't know if you can see that there, but a little bit of a bronze kind of accent to it. This one's got gold bow ties on the front. Chrome badging. This unit's equipped with magnetic select ride control. Something a lot of people are looking for in these units. Something Chevy's always stood by is their ride quality. Unbelievable to drive. If you haven't driven one, worth coming in and checking it out. Keyless entry to hop into this one. My favorite part is that jet black mocha interior. We just don't see enough of this. It's really nice working day in and day out, selling the vehicles to see something nice and refreshed. I really wish we had this for the half tons too, because believe me, if we did, I'd have this in my truck, high country badging. See that kind of woven into the uh, headrest there, but just so nice. Black steering wheel, everything else is kind of like a brown accent. Some nice wood grain finishes through there on the door panels and then further in. This unit's also got a rear camera mirror. That's great. People are using these to cart around kids, move things around. A lot of time you have a lot of cargo in the back. That was designed so that uh, you do end up having people in the back. Obviously things can get kind of jammed up. If you got cargo boxes or hockey bags or whatever, you flip that on. It's got a little bit of a night vision mode, easier to see. Um, it's just there so that uh, if you have the back full and you can see out really easy. This unit's also got the full panoramic Sunroof, Bose sound system. We'll hop in here, show you around. This unit's equipped with heads up display, parking sensors, automatic start stop for the engine. That's where the engine shuts off when you come to a full stop at a red light. It's also got your 360 degree cameras, auto four high, four low, two wheel drive. These are your uh, headlight settings and the interior brightness you can adjust as well not sure if you're going to be able to see that heads-up display there in the windshield works half the time just the way that the camera picks up the leds i think you can see it there this particular unit's got 13 kilometers on it heated steering wheel adaptive cruise control something available in this one as well where it's going to start or i guess slow and speed up based on the person ahead of you when you are in cruise control if you're upgrading from the previous body style you'll notice chevy has changed these nifty little shifters it's just based on uh, pulling those buttons so I'll show you how to get in reverse if it wants to focus press that way pull it towards you it'll open up that big beautiful 360 degree camera it's great too with big 22 inch wheels everybody's petrified of uh, scuffing them up this way with this camera if you're pulling through a drive-through or you know whatever happens to be after a long day or after a hockey night and you just want to get some grub. Good way to make sure that your rims aren't going to get all bent up, especially if you're pulling in close. We all know we've been there. Drive-throughs that probably aren't made for full-size vehicles. Makes it a little bit easier on you. There's that uh, other half. Of the interior there. Passenger side. High Country's come with the heated and cooled seats. Dual climate zone control is featured in pretty much all of them outside of the LS. Yeah, we're gonna hop into the back. Oh, this is what a lot of people are talking about. When we're looking at Suburbans, or if they're balancing a Suburban or a Tahoe to a Traverse. Nothing but great room. I like to call these adult seats. Um, I know sometimes when you get a third row in SUVs, we've all kind of seen it, especially if you've got kids. For those seats, aren't exactly equipped for a full grown human being. Um, these ones are great. I'm about six feet tall. Fit no problem, been on lots of test drives in these units. 
These seats adjust just with a little bit of a lever. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. There we go. There you have it. I mentioned in the beginning of the video, these ones do not have the rear entertainment system. A lot of people like to get the iPads going. Most kids already have them. You can get these nifty little things that just strap onto the back of the headrests. Have those there. The rear entertainment system is great, but it only works for HDMI. So if you have a Nintendo Switch or an Xbox, it makes a road trip a lot more fun for adults and or children. Now the rear seats here do have their own climate. Um, you do have heated seats in the second row, but not in the third, it's not available. Some extra outlets there you can see, kind of poking around. Cup holders, all the good stuff, all the essentials. Very comfortable ride. This unit's got captain seats, which is what I find most people are looking for. When they're getting into these units, some people got an extended family. The bench seat is fantastic as well, but when you are uh, carting kids around or you have ones that like to smack each other, sometimes it's a little bit easier to uh, separate them and they're in the middle in the second row. Um, now this being a Suburban, it's about 12 inches longer than a Tahoe. So showing you the back here, plenty of room for hockey bags, golf bags, any sort of bags. Might be stored back here. Now, power seats in the second row, power seats in the third row. Those fold down like a sole. Really nice, easy, convenient. You can pop that third row back up with power. Only thing you gotta worry about is sticking those headrests back up yourself manually, which is really easy. Clickety, clickety, they come back just like a sole. Really handy to have, power lift gate. Can adjust that, the height. Um, Sometimes people pull into low parkades. These units, it's great to have. And there you have it. Available at Sherwood Park Chevrolet, 2024. Suburban, three liter diesel, high country with the jet black and mocha interior. Any questions, comment your thoughts below. Like, subscribe, more videos to come. Thanks so much.